Okay, Dawn says, why do some men personalize personalize when the woman they care about is upset and feel like they failed, even if it's, she's not upset at him and what she's upset about is something trivial even? Okay, great question, Dawn. And this comes back to our parental shit. So I talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again and I'll go into a little bit of detail. I continually talk about the book, The Hoffman Process. This is a book to heal childhood wounds and traumas and adult traumas that cause us to have negative patterns and limiting beliefs in our lives. Here's the thing. As children, we were traumatized. Folks, it is very rare that we grew up with Ozzy and Harriet as parents. Our parents have traumatized us from the perspective of they treat us as an adult and we don't have the mind of an adult. So just recognize that whenever we were told something by our parents, whenever our parents criticized us, again, coming back to being told what to do, that can wear on our emotional psyche. So what happens is so we, we men in particular, if we feel like our mom is upset, we personalize it. So let me give you an example. My mother right there, Whenever she was upset with my father, I, rem I remember this so vividly because it was predominantly my entire life. Whenever she was upset with my mother, well, my father, my mother would stonewall. What that means is she would emotionally abandon my father, my brother, and myself. I repeat that. She would abandon us emotionally. I mean, she'd still make dinner, take us to school, but she would emotionally abandon us. And I always took that personally. What did I do wrong? Little children look at, we did the thing wrong. And what happens is if we don't heal that as an adult, that can affect us. So if, folks, have you ever heard the term trigger, trigger, trigger? When we get triggered by something. So when something happens, my mother was upset at my father, but it triggered me because she, she that also carried for her stonewalling or her, her uh, disappointment carried forward to everybody else in the house. So this is, this happens to men and women alike okay ladies you guys have dad issues we have mom issues and this is very prevalent so first off just understand just come from a place of understanding that he doesn't intentionally take it personally it's it's a subconscious thing that's happening and not an intentional thing from your part. So again, I'm here to promote understanding rather than expectations. Let me repeat that. I'm here to promote understanding rather than expectations. By the way, my back is starting to seize up. So we're only going to go for a few more minutes. And that's why when we approach the process from what would love do or how would love respond, we can have compassion for one another instead of expectations. And by the way, as my friend Guy Blue said, expectation is the mother of disaster and desperation is her twin sister. Expectation is the mother of disaster and desperation is her twin sister. All right. Thank you so much.